Our next choice turned 77 yesterday. 1.2 billion Catholics looked to him for comfort and spiritual guidance. When he became Pope Francis in March of this year, we heard again and again that he is the first Latin American Pope. But there's so much more about him that makes him fascinating. There are a lot of things that have always been part of being Pope. A big clothes budget, including robe handlers, your own little army, unusual transportation methods, very unusual transportation methods, and a certain distance from the congregation. But Francis is not that kind of Pope. Buonasera. He's updated the Pope Mobile, lives in a simple apartment, has been known to ride the bus, is a big time soccer fan, and is more than willing to share the spotlight. He tweets, takes selfies, Instagrams, and makes a lot of his own telephone calls. He personally called to cancel his newspaper subscription. No wonder this Pope has gotten everyone's attention. He's daring, he's fresh, he's innovative. This is like the coolest Pope yes. anyone's ever heard of. There's hope in this Pope! Born Jorge Mario Bergoglio, he grew up in Buenos Aires, Argentina. He was the oldest of four siblings, two brothers and two sisters. He didn't become a Jesuit priest until he was 32. He has studied philosophy and science, and he has reportedly been in love. As Pope, without changing the church's doctrine, he has softened its tone on sex and abortion. He has embraced gay people as God's children and he has challenged the church's rejection of homosexuals. Si una es gay, if a person is gay and searches for the Lord, who am I to judge, he has said. He wants the church to return to its roots, be less about judging and more about caring, especially caring for the most vulnerable, for the poor and the young. No matter what church you belong to, it is hard not to have faith in this Pope. Moving on. She is arguably now the most bankable actress in Hollywood. At 23, she can play a girl in her teens or a woman in her 30s, and yet she has never taken an acting lesson. This is the year that Jennifer Lawrence caught fire. In last year's hit film, Silver Linings Playbook, Jennifer Lawrence gave a memorable performance in the offbeat romantic comedy as a young, volatile widow. Forget I offered to help you. Forget the entire idea, because I am so much crazier than you. Keep your voice down. I'm just the crazy slut with a dead husband. <laughs> Forget it! This year, she won an Oscar for it. Jennifer Lawrence. And gave another memorable performance. You guys are just standing up because you feel bad that I fell. So this wonderful moment, you've won an Oscar. Yeah. Clunk. I know. You're like, this moment was ruined. Then I went home and I ate Domino's and... And it was, it was all fire. Pizza fixes everything. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much that needs fixing in Jennifer Lawrence's life right now. In the past three years, she's been nominated for a Supporting Actress Oscar for her work in Winter's Bone. Well, please help me this one time. Gotten cast as the hottest blue mutant in the world in the X-Men film series. Is starring in Catching Fire, the record-breaking latest installment of The Hunger Games. And become a fashion icon. On top of that, there is already Oscar buzz and a Golden Globe nomination for her role in American Hustle, opening this Friday. Why don't you build something like he does, instead of all your empty deals? It's just like your science oven. You know, I read that it takes all of the nutrition out of our food. It's empty, just like your deals. What's the question you most hate so I can be sure to ask it? Probably when people ask, how are you so normal? It just makes me feel weird, because I'm like, I'm... I am normal, like I just, it's a job. For you, is there a tough part about being so famous and that every aspect of your life is examined? Yeah, 
That's scary for any 23-year-old, because I don't know what's going to fly out of my mouth and then it gets printed. <laughs> Jennifer manages to be herself, utterly frank and utterly charming, during even the stalest media rituals. I'm starving. Well, Is there food here? I pee when I get scared. I'm like a chihuahua, I'm shaking and peeing. I hope you got a fan here. <laughs> She grew up with little thought of showbiz in Kentucky. The tomboy sister of two older brothers, she spent much of her time alone, fishing or riding horses. Her career started by chance. When she was 14, a modeling agent spotted her on a New York street during a vacation. Really? That quickly led to the cable sitcom, The Bill Engvall Show. Hit the brake, hit the brake, hit the brake! And a series of indie films none of which prepared her for her present life, a non-stop world of acting and international press tours. So much is changing for you now. Is it happening too fast? I mean, the main thing is the way people look at you and talk to you, because you don't feel any different, you know? Like, a light never went off when I was like, OK, I'm a new me, you know? I've just So it's hard when people treat you differently when you don't feel any differently. It's kind of, it's alienating. Do they treat you nicely? Yeah, but I don't know. It's, just, I, it's something about the way that they look, it look, you feel like a, like a zoo animal or something. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, it's, it's like a, I don't know what it is. It's something in somebody's eyes. And they, it's like you're not connecting and making eye contact sometimes. People are just, um, and now I'm surrounded by people all the time. And then it can be so lonely when all of a sudden everybody goes. But I have to remind myself that it's, it's just being alone. It's not lonely. What's your idea of a perfect day now? Well, if I could imagine it, I'd be able to wake up, oh, and my alarm wouldn't go off, and I'd wake up really late. <laughs> and um, I could go on a walk, and then I wouldn't wear a hat, and I wouldn't wear sunglasses, and I could walk and make eye contact with whoever I wanted and smile and get my own coffee. But realistically, a good morning for me is well, I order room service, and then I watch TV and eat in bed, which is great, because when you're in a hotel, they'll just change the sheets. You don't have to worry <laughs> about it. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Not in LA, in a house, on a big property, and maybe starting a family. Everything's calm. Everything's calm. I have calm. a minivan. <laughs> I wish it for you. I don't think it's going to happen in quite that way, but I wish <laughs> it for you. Complete the sentence for me. What people do not know about Jennifer Lawrence is... That I can play the oboe. But and I hate cilantro. I th this is so fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you for sharing this with us.